Hello everybody, my name is Aceface, we're here in Nullsec doing some rattlesnake ratting again. Here I'm trying to come up with fits that are able to run properly in the systems with 200% bounty risk modifiers. These are special systems because they have a tendency to be very dangerous. They've got a high bounty risk modifier because a lot of PvP has been occurring here. But I want to find fits that are able to do ratting in these systems to then be able to capitalize on this because they get double the bounty ticks. So then you're going to be able to then have a very like profitable amount of bounty or very efficient amount of bounty. Like you're essentially, you're essentially getting double the amount of bounty ticks for the amount of effort you do. Uh, I've been previously trying this with a uh, torpedo rattlesnake. The torpedo rattlesnake is amazing in terms of its killing ability. It's a really powerful ship. The problem is though, I have a bit of a hard time aligning and keeping a safe distance when I'm doing the ratting. I think that my strategy here in a rattlesnake with cruise missiles, which is what we're going to use today, is going to be a lot safer. Uh, I want to try this out, see how this goes, because if we're a little bit of a distance, first of all, that's going to just, generally speaking, keep us a bit safer distance from anyone who warps into the site. And then second of all, it's going to also give us a lot bigger margin to be able to like align out and not have to like redirect our alignment all the time. So I think that's a good idea. We're going to try this out, see how it goes. I've got the drone link augmenter so that I can use my drones at very long ranges, 112 kilometers, basically as far as I can target, uh, or not 112 kilometers, I think, if we look in the drones, where are the drones? Drones here, 84 kilometers, so okay, not that much, but it still is something. I've got the target paint to assist with application, and I've got the missile guidance computer to also assist with application. The reason I want the target painters are not just pure missile guidance computers is that I'm thinking is uh, the problem with these havens is that you can have issues with the frigates. The frigates can cause a lot of problems because you'll have problems with application there. So I think that the target painters can be good because then say in the instance where I have frigates on the grid, then I can just uh, lock on to the frigates and use the target paints on them so that my drones can easier take them out. Let's just put those wasps those wasps there we go wasps deployed and we'll align to then one of these warp out points we've got and then go for these guys so my idea here is that i'm going to be using the cruise missiles on the big stuff and the drones go for the uh the smaller stuff and then they can have the target painters assisting them here the target painters will help the drones apply a bit better so i just forget about the missiles and then have focus on the drones then being able to have the target painters uh, assisting them with application uh, i wonder if we're getting full application here we're getting about 3k volley sounds about right what is there yeah it's about half the damage so that's good uh, we can even put some target painters here maybe put the drones on this pithatus revolter so they can have really good application here. I wonder if this is the first wave because we have got some wasps that have been left behind here. Be a bit unfortunate if they get killed. This is a good test. Uh, I want to see if we can uh, take out the frigates with uh, the drones. So we'll just have the cruise missiles go on the battleships like I wanted to. And then we'll have the drones with the dual target painters. Oh, look at that. They're really great. Wasps are amazing here. Dual target painters seems to be pretty good. Yeah, that's great. Look at that. They're doing a pretty good amount of DPS here. And uh, there we go. There. Oh, look at that. The drones are amazing. That's good. They seem to even be doing a lot of damage before my target paints were even to come into effect. But okay. So we're aligned to warp out one, I believe. Good. So we just want to make sure we're within like 80 kilometers range. Because then uh, we're able to uh, be able to assign our drones and the correct targets so we've got neutrals hopping in and out of the system but it's okay we're aligned at all times so if, we, if someone comes in we just boop warp and then we're gone zero align time because we're already pre-aligned and if we get too far away then we can always go to this other warp in point which i think is in a different slightly different vector no, it's sort of over there it would have been actually better if we were to be at that distance an mjd wouldn't have been a bad idea actually P possible i could use that but in some ways i think that we'll then lose a uh mid slot but maybe it could be not so necessary to have these dual pithex types actually <laughs> to be honest i think they're quite unnecessary with how little damage we're taking right here as you can see put maybe a tech 2 shield booster and then put a mjd 
but that could be very useful i think because then we could really align ourselves properly all the time at all points in time and it'll be very safe uh, okay then we've got that there's someone over there lock up everything here and then we just warp to have this ready to warp to this if someone just emerges here from nowhere okay have the drones take out oh they are shattering these frigates like as if it's no one's business easily easily oh there's someone here Ishtar uh, never mind he is a uh, uh, he is friendly here. He is the one who asked me actually previously how I thought the, thought the rattlesnake would be. That's cool seeing corp ratting here. <laughs> All within zero. So we can just do that. Have that ready. Ready, ready, ready. Well, I think that it could be this could be actually quite good you want to talk to me again and we're going so slow as well so it doesn't really matter that we're moving like this what oh, within zero have that ready now we can have the cruise missiles ready for the next target here the usurper Saknafien, Saknafain, that guy in the local, you can see he's there. So we just need to keep an eye on him. Lock up these frigates and then be pre aligned here. That's a pretty nice way how these cruise missiles are quite relaxing in this way. And just have the missiles then go here. Oh, look at that. The drones already obliterating those dyes. And then with the dual target painters, makes it just so much easier as well. Look at that destroying his shields straight away because we don't have issues with applying to the battleships as far as I can tell the cruise missiles do all the application so that's no problem but our issue can arise from not being able to take out the small stuff quick enough there we go I'm going to split these up as well to just reduce the amount of clicks we have to do so that we don't have to just click from correct uh from rat to rat to rat takes so little damage here we can definitely chill down on our tank a little bit seems like our drones are very powerful at destroying these guys they were quicker than the cruise missiles there's an iteron mark four here i think it's his iteron that is uh that is uh hauling the goods that he's got we'll put the two target paints on these cruisers they can get destroyed really easily i probably should make like a separate overview so that i just see M players so that as soon as something pops up i see it straight away maybe even make it like comes a color i don't know if that's possible to make like a separate overview tab with just players and if one exists in that overview then it pops or it's a neutral player it then pops up as like a red i think that'll be quite cool And we seem to be at a good range as well. I like these wasps. They're working really well at taking out the annoying frigates. So keep an eye on that D-scan at all times. Or well, not D-scan. The overview. And then a little bit of the local as well. So you can get an idea what's going on at the same time as well. Not even even having to use our shield booster really unnecessary that we're going with the bling one here that costs half a billion isk can just go with the tech 2 one but the shield booster is very useful i can use it for other uses like when i'm using a torpedo star for example oh and now i've got the the end room quick haven but it was partially started by the other guy here Really smooth, I like this. To me, this feels a lot better than Golem Ratting in a way, because even though we're not doing as much DPS, or not close to as much DPS as a Golem would, we're able to be a little bit safer by, or quite significantly more safer by aligning at all times. Then, we're at the same time, we're also able to do this in a staging system, so then we can 
be closer just in general to everything so we don't have to move too far but then also the great thing is as well that we're just we're using the bounty risk modifier so we're probably getting similar ticks to what a golem would actually get but we're not using as big of a quick ship there's still similar prices to what a golem would be the rattlesnake is an expensive ship but it's all right i think it's all right anything that's keeping it going far away people use the wardens the type of uh, sentry drones i don't really like them because they stay in one place you have to manage them go fly back to them to retrieve them i like the wa the wasps so you can just deploy them then recall them when you need to and i feel like they have a bit better application to the small stuff even though they might have very good application at range but i remember previously when i've used them they're not being that great to me the wasps feel a lot better i could be wrong maybe i've been just using them wrongly i'll go as much stuff as possible Spread those drones out a little bit. Here's where maybe drones would take a little bit of time because they have to now travel all the way to those other targets that maybe were completely different locations to what my drones were previously at. They seem to not take too long to take care of a battle cruiser here. So here we have 75% of the DPS of the torpedo rattlesnake, but we are significantly safe, I feel. I think this is definitely worth it. And also you can go quite a bit cheaper because you don't have to have as much tank as well. I mean, I don't even think my torpedo rattlesnake has to have as much tank as it does have. I think it's way too overkill, but still, I think that it is quite chill here in this regard. The rattlesnake looks also so cool. It's like a really menacing ship. Easy. And then just split those drones up a little bit and done. Oh, and also one thing is I don't need to at all have this uh, bay thruster rig here. That's unnecessary. Because I don't have any issue with range here on this fit. This is the same ship I use for the torpedo style rattlesnake. The only difference is that uh, I swapped around a few modules. So we could definitely optimize this a lot. I'm not saying this is the finalized fit here, but... Seems to be working really good so far. The MJT could be a good idea. Then again, I do like the relaxing nature of having these two Pith-X modules here, but don't think it's necessary. And I always like to be able to go cheaper if I can help it. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to maybe like put a drone rig, maybe? Could be fun to have like a drone... Drone chip. Maybe it makes them faster, you know? Drone speed augmenter. Large... Large drone speed augmenter. Two... Is this possible here to be bought anywhere? Like this one, another tech one. A speed augmenter could be good. And then uh, dock up here. A scope is also good because those can make it so that you... Uh, they have more range so they can hit quicker. Control range also is an idea. So there's no drone DPS rigs unfortunately. Okay, great. So that was a quick haven there. We didn't even manage to get a tick in because we did it so quickly. <laughs> I think that it was definitely a lot slower than the torpedo rattlesnake, but it was still pretty quick. We were pretty quick on this. Uh, let's see if we can go and just alter some fitting slightly here. So, okay, let's remove the gist. We don't need that and we don't need this either. Let's put the jump drive, jump drive. Large micro jump drive. Okay, we've got 26 million isk tick here. Ooh, and then even 29 million, actually. And we could have made this even more if we had then gone with maybe a... Like you could say a beefier uh, like the tick. Like we were not doing this the full 20 minutes. So it definitely could be a bit more. Let's see if there's anything we can optimize here. So we can take the large micro jump drive. We can't get it from this, ship, this station in particular. But okay. So yeah, large shield booster. It's possible to get any large shield boosters. X large shield booster tech two could be an idea, because this will then still be able to like burst for a short period of time just to get our shields quickly up, uh, just not burn through our capacitor very quickly. Shield boost 138. What about tech two? There's so much less uh, shield boosting, but I would like to have. Uh, fitting is a bit of an issue though. That's a bit of an issue here. A large one is what we would want to have, like something like that. We have this, and then we have my micro jump drive large micro jump drive 
mean, I don't really know how necessary the micro jump drive is even because this is not going to be a like a super you could say uh, like there's not really any issue here just keeping a range and you know just aligning a little bit from side to side no problems really we had so I wonder if you could just perhaps add some drone modules or something that can maybe increase our drones tracking to be honest like a omnidirectional tracking link that could be good omnidirectional tracking enhance or a drone maybe a drone uh, speed augmenter augmenter Drone navigation computer could be an idea. So they'll be able to go quite a bit faster. Maybe buy this. And again, these hydraulic bay thrusters are not too bad because they make our missiles travel quicker. So they could be an idea. I wonder if the drone navigation computer could be an idea or omnidirectional tracking link could be another idea. Because can't these use certain scripts? Optimal range. And then improve the optimal range, it seems. I think the augmenter, the drone speed augmenter could be good. What does this do to the speed? Maximum velocity, 30% boost. That's pretty decent, actually. And probably we'll use this. I think that's a good idea. We'll go with this. Mothership Bellicose. A big value that's in our... Oh, we actually dropped off that GIST module in that random citadel. We shouldn't have done that. Get this one here this here and then we can get large shield like a pithex type almost would be quite fun to have actually <laughs> because you just get so much shield boosting just quickly to boost up the shield if you ever need it but it's very expensive too shield extender could also be a cool idea where you have a little bit extra passive shield you could also just keep using the one we already have can save a lot of cost with all these bling the damage modules as well 700 million is on these bling damage modules i wonder if how the fitting would be drawn damage amplifier we'll do some more tests and see if how useful the jump drive will be then we can add that otherwise i don't think it's really that necessary get 1.46 instead of so we could lose 100 dps basically 700 million i don't know if 100 dps is worth 700 million what do you guys think is it worth it <laughs> put these in here we could go a lot cheaper with having the tech two ones okay i'm gonna have to see what kind of fits i can come with here up with here see if i can maybe make this uh, be a little bit more price optimized perhaps and maybe even a little bit better than the previous world it was until next time hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later